Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a beautiful sales analysis heat map by time and day. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created this heat map table. Here we have the time bucket of two hours. Then here we have the different days. I have given the month slicer also. Darker color is indicating the higher sale and the lighter color is indicating lower sale. We have given a month slicer also. You can select any month from here. Accordingly, this heat map table will be changed. And you can click on this checkbox also to show the data levels. As you will click here, it will show the numbers. I would like to tell you friends, this is absolutely dynamic heat map table and we have used this data to create that heat map table. As you will add the new data here, let's say I'm adding the 1st April 2022 for example and I'm putting some time. So let's say I'm putting the same time here and sale I'm putting here, let's say 200 come to the chart seat and I'll go to the data and I'll click on the fresh all. You can see here we have the April 2022. If I will click here, we are seeing only one value because we have entered only one record. Okay, so it's a dynamic. Now I'll show you how can you create this beautiful analysis using your data set. We will use this data. So let's copy this including header copy and press ctrl n to add a new workbook and just paste this here so friends in this table we have date column then the time of sale and the sales amount and then we have created a month column here you can see we just have used the text function so let me delete these three columns i'll show you how you can create this using the formula so to get the month name i'll use the text and then this date comma in the format text i will put mmmm -M 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 so that i can get the full month name then here in the day we will use again text function text this date and to get the month name i will use here ddd price so that i'll get the short day name all right now the time bucket so if you want to create the time bucket of every hour or 30 minutes it's up to you there are several ways to create the time bucket you can use the even b lookup also if you want to use so let's create here the time bucket so i'm putting time bucket will start from 00 which is 12 am if i will format this and I'm adding two hours here plus 2.00. Okay. Then I will fill this down till here. Okay. Again, it is showing 12 a.m. So just delete this. So you can create your list what you want to show. And accordingly, you can put here VLOOKUP function. VLOOKUP. And let's use this time, comma. I will use this range m to m comma 1 comma I'll take here approximate match so I'll use 1 rather than 0 and just hit the enter so you can see it is giving the time accordingly all right now benefit of this formula is you can anytime change this range let's say if you want to keep it at 30 minute interval or one hour interval it's up to you accordingly it will create the buckets all right so now this table is ready and we will create a pivot table so click anywhere on this table go to the insert and click on pivot table okay now first of all what we will do we will take here time bucket and just move this time bucket here in rows now days i will take here in columns and the sales i will take in the values so this table has been created first of all we will remove the grand total from here and from here also so click on the pivot table anywhere go to the design then i'll go to the grand totals click on opt for rows and column let's make 
the columns little bit bigger but when you refresh this it will adjust the column width so what i will do here right click go to the pivot table options and uncheck this auto fit columns width on update click on ok now you can adjust the column width as per your requirement all right okay now we can fill some background color here in this range just fill the background all right now we will hide this particular row right click you can hide this now in place of row label you can show the time bucket so what you can do you can go to the design and you can go to the report layout and just click on show tabular form so the time bucket is available here all right now let's format this little bit you can remove this button also right click go to the pivot table option and just go to the display display field caption and filter drop down you can just uncheck that click on ok it is not visible now we will select this range and we will use the conditional formatting here so select this range and then go to the home conditional formatting and then we will go to the new rule because we are applying this to the pivot table so we should select this all cells showing sum of sales values now it will be applied to entire pivot table as the new bucket will come it will be applied automatically now i'll go to the format style and i'll take three color scale here in the three color scale the first color i will take this light yellow the second one i will take this one and the next one i will take this orange accent to click on ok so here you can see it is looking like this now we will format this make this bold and this one also so if i will refresh it will automatically take the data from this table because it's a pivot table and I will add a slicer now. So go to the insert slicer. Let's take the slicer for the month. Click on OK. Let's keep the slicer here. If I will click on January, then here you can see it is getting changed. All right. If I will click here, then you can see we are seeing few gray color here in the background. So what we can do? Right click on the pivot table. Go to the pivot table option, and for the empty cell, we can show zero click on ok so it will consider as zero we can show or hide the data labels on the basis of a checkbox so i'll go to the developer tab insert and then i will take a form control checkbox and just drag that checkbox here change the caption of this checkbox we will take here so data labels all right so now if i will check this the data label should be visible right click go to the format control and just click on this cell link and just click anywhere let's say on i1 click on ok if i will click here you can see the value of i1 is true now it is false all right so if this value is false then it should not be visible so what i will do i'll select this range and i'll go to the home conditional formatting new rule and i'll go to the use a formula to determine which shell to format and make sure you have selected all cells showing sum of sales value and here we will use i1 which is the linked cell for the checkbox if this value is equal to false then go to the format number format custom and here i will put price semicolon so that this text will not be visible click on ok ok now here you can see text is not visible but when i will click here it is visible all right you can make this heat map table more attractive using some border select this range go to the borders and then you can go to the more borders select this thicker line and here we will select white click on outline inside okay so it will look like this all right friends now here you can select any month 
and you can just click here now to make this hidden what you can do you can change the font color as the background color so that it will not be visible you can go to the view and uncheck the heading from here and grid line so all right so this heat map table is ready that is how you can create this and you can use for your sales analysis friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching